shoulder. I'm gonna get right into it. I don't really have much time to waste right now. So, this is basically what's left of my hair. I started cutting it last week. I didn't finish it. I don't know why. Um, but as you can see, I have a lot, lot, lot of heat damage. Like it's, there's no fixing this. It has to come off. So we're just gonna cut that today. I have these scissors that I got from Amazon. And this is not my first big chop. My first big chop was in 2014, I believe. And I just, I don't know, I just got real anxious and I cut my hair. And I cried after, but this time I'm not gonna cry because I don't know. When you've done the big chop before, it's just like, it's it's just hair. You realize it's just hair. And if you take care of your hair, it will grow back. So, as you can see, I've already started cutting some off in the back. The back was really damaged. Like, it was breaking off. Like, this, I didn't even have to cut because it was already like that. It was breaking off so bad due to the heat. Um, and I noticed it started just breaking off really bad when I switched flat iron. So at first I was using Revlon and then I started using the Babyliss Pro. And from there, like the first time I used it, my hair was fried. But it gets your hair straight, but you're going to pay for it in the end. So we're just going to start cutting. No tutorial needed is pretty much... One, two, three. Maybe I should use these. I got these from Amazon as well. And just start combing it out like my roots. And they look like this. like the, a three row comb. I don't know. Just cut. This is like <laughs> probably like the thinnest my hair has ever been. And probably the shortest in a while, like in the last 10 years, like this is the shortest and unhealthy my hair has been. And I started noticing the difference when I had my daughter. I'm gonna insert like some pictures that you can see like before and after, but I don't know, my hair, probably like two, maybe three months after having her, Every time I wash my hair, my hair just, it's just coming out. Like I can go like this and it'll just come out, come out, come out. One time I got an actual ball spot in the middle of my head that never happened before. I didn't start experiencing these things until after I had a baby. And so, but it happens. Her hair is long, thick, and healthy, so. And I always wear my real hair. I'm not into wigs. I've never worn a wig. I mean, the most I'll do is clip ins, but I'm not into all that, so. I don't know. I should wet it. I don't remember how I cut it the last time because it's been a while. I don't remember. I wet my hair. I think the last time I did it, I just 
I don't know, I just cut it. I just started cutting and I started crying. After I realized what I did. I may speed up this, the rest of this because, I mean, like I said, it's not much to say. I'm just cutting off all of the heat damage. So. working with right now so now oh this is the hair it's just all I cut off I'm actually recording but my front camera but I mean I don't know I feel like my curls are not as defined as they used to be um I don't know if it's the products that I use or what but I want to order some different things hopefully I can be sponsored soon by one of my favorite companies. But yeah, I'm gonna order some stuff and get back to taking care of my hair and just self care in general, um, you know. When you have kids and you actually put your kids first, you stop making time for the things that you used to do. And if you know me, you know I didn't play about my hair. And I used to have so many products. It's like when I had my daughter, I gave away so many. Well, majority of them, because there were no, there was no need. I was going months without washing my hair. I was still doing that up until recently, like going months without washing my hair. I don't know why. This is my problem side. I can never get this side right. When I'm, I don't really do too, too much to my edges. I'm not with the dramatic edges. I like everything 
to look natural as possible. My sideburns are pretty long. I know this video may seem like all over the place, but I'm not used to making long content or like just showing my face, period. So, what I'm about to start, I'm actually gonna vlog tomorrow, I'm gonna try. Um, I'm not doing much tomorrow. I'm going to cook. You know, I have to work tomorrow, actually, so I don't, I'm not going to do much. Clean, cook. That's about it. But yeah, this is it. Simple, straight to the point, not too much talking. I mean, it's, like I said, this is not my first rodeo. So I wasn't as emotional. I just feel like I'm just at a point in my life where I'm just trying to heal and I feel like this is definitely helping me if you don't know your hair does carry energy and I feel like this is the start of new beginnings so and again, it's just hair. If you're thinking about doing a big chop, just do it. It's going to grow back. It's just like a plant. If you take care of it, it'll grow. People used to ask me all the time, what do you do to your hair? What do you do? What do you put in it? I don't think it's about necessarily the product that you're putting in your hair. You have to take care of it. You, you have to have a routine. If you don't have a routine, then your hair is not going to grow. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here because, yeah, this is the best it's going to get right now. So, I don't know. Leave a comment and let me know what y'all think. Um, If you have any recommendations as far as products or utensils or whatever um, to help me on this journey, please leave your comments down below. Um, Like I said, stay tuned for more co content. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have an amazing day or night. Um, yeah, that's all.